Hey, Nerf Herders, I'm Addy Thomas. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Certain Point of View. Ben's not here with me at the moment because I actually have a special episode for you where Ben and I got a chance to go to All-Star Comic Con a couple weekends ago and hang out with Ming Chen and Mike Zapsik of Comic Book Men. They're connected with Smodco and all of the, you know, Kevin Smith's shared universe. Uh, they, they're starting their own podcast studio over in New Jersey, and uh, you can go in and record your own podcast. They got you set up, so if you don't you know, if you have the bar- if the barrier of the technical part of podcasting is is stopping you from podcasting, well, you you don't have much of a reason now because you can you can always go to the podcast studio and record episodes right there. Uh, what was great is that you know they they were guests on our show. Uh, they made it a, a possibility at Comic Con at All Star Comic Con, and they're they're great supporters of the podcasting medium. So we got a chance to nerd out with them about Star Wars, about uh, comics, and all sorts of fun stuff uh, that we love nerding about, nerding out about. You can, uh, before we get to that, I just want to remind you, you can go to our website, certainpov.com, and check out our website because not only do you have Certain Point of View, you have other podcasts that are part of Certain Point of View. You also have Another Pass with Kay Saken. You also have Fun and Games with Matt and Jeff. You also have The Scruffy Nerf Herders, our Star Wars D20 story. All of that, again, is on our website, certainpov.com. Welcome to A Certain Point of View. My name is Ben Milton. Addy will be joining me here shortly, but I'm here with two very special guests. <laughs> two guys I'm super excited to uh, finally sit down across the table from and have a podcast with. Ming and Mike from Comic Book Men. How are you guys? Welcome. Thanks for having us, Ben. Wow, look at us. Yeah, I know. Uh, honored guests. Uh, you know, uh, we couldn't come to your studio or wherever you podcast from, so we come to you. You know, we set Which this up. Which is fine because we we actually have it. We had a studio. We just tore it apart. Addy, we had a, a really great studio built in Addy's basement. Okay, it was sweet. Like we had this big table and mics and chairs and everything. And he ended up having to like get a new place, and so we're, oh. we're in between oh. studios at the moment. Oh yeah, we understand about that. Yeah, we were we were yes. in a place. Uh, we had set up our podcast studio. Oh, it was great. It was fantastic. We, it was like literally. A hundred feet from the stash, so it, uh, and it we was walk like back up a and flight forth. Of step. Uh, yeah, it was so convenient. One flight of stairs, and you know, it wasn't the biggest, but it was perfect for our needs. Yeah, we, we each had our own yeah. um, little office space, yeah, edit space. Great. Yeah, yeah. Put all and uh, turns out that um, we should have called it Fraudulent Studios because the guy who rented to us didn't actually own the building. Details? Yeah, very, very, <laughs> uh, very minor details. And it ended up that um, they demolished the building after we, like, <laughs> little yeah, cease and yeah. desist. You guys are technically squatters. Get the hell out. Of- Pretty much. The guy hadn't owned, he owned the building like 10 years prior. And just was decided, going around uh, collecting rent. He just decided it. he wanted to own it again. He yeah. sold it, but he was still collecting rent. And, Brilliant. And um, the, uh, you know, the real landlords were none the wiser. They thought it was vacant. Wow. They were, they were in Florida or something. They were, you know, one of these faceless corporations that, just went around just buying properties. properties. I think they were sitting on it with the eventual hope of demolishing it and building condos. And finally, which is why the, we got kicked out because they eventually they, decided to. Well, and they <laughs> they had to go through like the Red Bank zoning, oh. and it finally passed through that long, you know, molasses that process, yeah. like yeah. Yeah, thank you, government. Yeah, the so. zoning was like, well, you got to get rid of your tenants. They're like, what tenants? Yeah, we have no tenants. <laughs> and they're like, they found yeah, out. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. So were they mad at you? Did they, like, I guess they no, said it's. No, not really. I no, it's like, our fault. Yeah. Right. What did know. you know? Right. Yeah. And, and you know, the other guy's like, I'm old. I'm forgetful. Oh, you can't take me to court. Yeah. He was a very weird guy. Like, he would just, like, we'd be podcasting and then he would just come in. And be like, like hey, hey, what's, what's up? up? I'm like, dude, we're we're working here. We're trying to, <laughs> we're, we're you know you know whatever. What do you want? Yeah, what do you, I want rent. It's like, no, you go talk to our our silent partner. Yeah, right. he, talk he to would us. Come in in the middle of the night and turn down the heat because we were spending too much money on heat. Yeah, <laughs> nowhere in the lease. You know, it was a fake lease, obviously. Sure. But nowhere in the lease that we thought was legit was anything that said we couldn't run the heat full blast like all yeah, the I know. time. So. Yeah, he was that's just, a fantastic podcast story. That's maybe the yeah, best like podcast pretty, well, studio story I've heard. What's even worse is we would come in and Rob Bruce would be sleeping on our floor. <laughs> so it's like, what the hell? <laughs> like, oh, I I was doing stuff and I was here late last night and I just crashed. Yeah, I just crashed. Yeah, I'm like, crashed in your own place. And how did you get keys to this place? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
yeah, this one time I, uh, you know, I went to unlock the door and it wouldn't budge. I'm like, what the hell? Like I had the right keys and right, everything. Right, right. He had latched the top latch, which we didn't have a key to, and we kind of agreed to never latch that. It was latched, so I'm. I thought it was frozen shut because it was winter and just snowed. So I'm laying, you know, I'm trying to knock it down, and and suddenly I hear this like stumbling down the steps, and click, and it opens up, and there's this be- bedraggled Rob Bruce. Um, <laughs> the only thing on the he's missing end. is like a, an old stained bathrobe. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, what the hell? I was like, oh, oh, sorry, I locked the top. I'm like, I thought we agreed. Now he's like, sorry, I, I forgot, and it was clear that he'd been sleeping in the office. Well, to be fair, like. Technically, Addy was sleeping in our in our space too because well, he has yeah. a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, but there's a difference, <laughs> right? So, right. Yeah. yeah, and we weren't really paying rent, extra rent for okay. that space yeah. either. So, so there you, is you, that. You do what you can for podcasting. Exactly. But, it's, you know, it, it, it's a it's a cut rate, low entry cost type right, of business gotcha. venture. And, and you know what? That's perfectly fine. Yeah, absolutely. You could have said something though, but no, <laughs> it, it was just weird. I'm like, are you sleeping in our office? Like, no. I'm like, yeah, you. Come on, dude. <laughs> come on. So not cool. There's, yeah, there's a drool mark on our uh, on, on the, the desk. Yeah, 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 that's not okay. Yeah, it's that's not okay. Yeah, it's not okay. So let me ask you this, guys. So we 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 just we started off as a Star Wars podcast, okay, and then we kind of switched back off into uh, a, a more nerd focused podcast. Addy's joining us now. Hey, hey look. Hello, Addy. Addy. Yeah. Hello, Addy. Thanks, thanks for being prompt. I know. Mm. It's, a, it's a gift. All right. Good deal. <laughs> I like that. I, uh, no apologies. Wanna, like, go screw yourself. Want to introduce yourself for <laughs> our, our, our beloved audience? Sure. Addy Thomas here. I'm uh, the other half of Certain Point of View. Yep. Nice. Yep. He is, he, is my, uh, he is my Jason Muse. He's your wingman. He is. <laughs> <laughs> you I never... usually introduce him as my Jason Muse. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're both pretty much Jason Muse in I this know. relationship. In, in what way? Unreliable? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. A little and bit. That's purely like from an outside perspective, obviously. Yeah, I don't... gotcha. <laughs> okay. I hear you. So uh, I was just about to ask him... Uh, and I because I feel I would be remiss to not ask two guys on the comic book band. So we started off Star Wars focused com- right. uh, you know, uh, podcast. Went to more ner- general nerd focus. Sure. Got really excited, and then we were like, you know what? Let's refocus it back to Star Wars. That's really our first love. Okay. That's that's what like bonded us together. That's what brought us together. Understandable. Completely. That's our thing. What if if you were a new comic book reader, or you had somebody come to the stash yeah. who's a new comic book reader and a Star Wars fan? Where or what Darth would you have them? Darth Vader, number one. Yes. The, the new Darth series, Vader, yeah. The new one, yes. The current series, yeah. Charles Soule. Absolutely. Yes. No, well, sure. no, no, the one previous. Yeah, the oh, one yeah. before that. Yes. Yeah. There was that, uh, that wasn't Jason Aaron's, was it? I would have to look that up because right, I, we'll don't, that I out, don't know that 100%. Um, the first Star Wars series, the one that bridged the gap between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. The where, one where he finds out that Lucas is his yes, son. Yes, where you find out that... Um, where you find out that, uh, yeah, he finds out that Luke is his son, but he also consolidates his power. Yes. And, you know, because when we see him in New Hope, he is essentially a thug. Mm-hmm. He is, because uh, Grand Moff Tarkin has complete control over him, right? right. Yep. He's yep. like, Go Vader! Fetch, fetch Vader. Yes. And right. Him do yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's like and a then, dog. then afterwards, you, you know, when we see him in Empire, he is in command of pretty much everything. Right. And not just because well, there were, there were a shit ton of people over on the Death Star that you know, Didn't had make power. It off. Yeah, had power over <laughs> Vader. Um, but then you find out. And How he did it, yeah. It's the, uh, and Palpatine's like listen, I got nobody to blame for this but you. Yeah. So I'm coming down on you. Yeah, you're and, the only one left. Too, yeah, so, seriously. Yeah, yeah, you survived. So. I've got like, and, yeah, everybody here on uh, was it, uh, Corsicon? Corsan. Corsan. <laughs> Why did I say Corsican? <laughs> Close enough. Oh, because I was watching, podcasting watching for some what, how many hours movies straight now? That. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Corsan. And um, I've got plenty of people around here who will do my bidding. Yeah. I need somebody who can think on his, his own. And boom. that's He put a bunch of tests yep. in place to, uh, to screw around with. With Vader, yeah. Vader and his perceptions. So yeah, yeah. past the really flying cool. colors. But you know, uh, in the I guess the second volume, we learned how the Sith get their or their lightsabers. You know, they got to take it that off. That was of a Jedi. really cool. Yeah. And uh, like the cri- the Kyber crystals like actually bleed. Yeah, that's why all their pain. Yeah. yeah, they have. That's why they have the different colors. Like good, cool stuff. Um, 
that you know? Do you need to know this watching the no, know, Star Wars you, universe? But no, wouldn't you does it love en- to? Does yes. it enhance it? It, it definitely does. does. It does. It, they they have done a great job, I think, with the comic books of really expanding the lore. Yeah. Of really kind of fle- like fleshing. I know they like they yeah obviously have the EU right that's kind of been set aside for right now. But what they've done with with the new comics and and the new books and stuff like that yeah. and, and really fleshing out some of the lore and world building has just been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And um, yeah, I, uh, Mike hasn't seen Solo, so I'll preface it with that. But I will say, uh, Solo in- enjoyable, yeah, uh, necessary. You know, not really. Uh, I in my after it was done, uh, my opinion I was like, man, they should just made that a comic book. You know, like a series, like a, you know, a six issue series or something. I kind of felt the same way too. I was, no. I wasn't, I can't say I was underwhelmed. No, but I was like, that was wasn't really anything special that it needed to be yeah. a movie event. Yeah, and it didn't feel like an event either. Yeah, well, that's a funny word when it comes to the fan base when they talk about what's a necessary story. Like a lot of these stories, like if you pitched them, would have not sounded necessary. Sure. But now we're introduced to all these fandoms. Yeah, you know, so because we started with a story that isn't that sounds kind of flat like I right. mean, like the original pitch for new hope isn't all that exciting but no well know. i mean that was what the you mean the one with the, all the senate meetings and yeah. the uh you know luke star killer <laughs> exactly and, <you> know, yeah <laughs> i yeah I'm, I'm glad uh uh george went back and, and the, the, uh, had help rewriting it yeah the editing sure. process has always helped star wars a great deal yeah, it was sure. kieran gillen Karen Gillen, right. shout Karen out to Karen Gillen. Gillen. Shout out! I'm sorry, I just had to. No, thank you. <laughs> I, I took it. It was bothering me. Yeah, I, like a like a true nerd, it bothered. Oh yeah, me. as it should. He, he wasn't going to sleep tonight until he. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Out. Like Mike, you just Google it right now. It's right want. there. That's why we have yeah. these phones, right? Yeah, exactly. Sure. That's why yeah. I do this. <laughs> yeah. What made you make the transition from Star Wars to everything? Did you just kind of run out of? There was to so talk much. About? No, no. There was just so much going on. Like we live in like the golden age of nerddom. We do. I mean, like, does it get better than this? No, it, it, it can I'm, I'm kind of hoping it does. Yeah. My, my ultimate goal is to see that Justice League Avengers movie. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so, Before we die. A great, a yeah. great crossover die. in the sky. Yeah. I mean, I, I want it to look exactly the way that George Perez <laughs> drew it in that four-issue series. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what you're hoping so, for. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think DC has a long way to go to get their, uh, their act they, together before Marvel would even consider it, right? Well, let's put it this way. If... if uh, Disney were to ever buy DC Comics, and it yeah. could happen, and it could happen could in happen. our world, That's it true. could happen. Then I think that they would put the DC movies on the fast track. And I'm I'm trying to remember who said it. it I, I think it might it might have been Mark Miller, who said that the difference between DC and Marvel is that uh, Marvel it's about character, and DC it's about powers. Yes. So I mean, you can have anybody be a Kryptonian and have Superman level powers. Right. You know. Uh, Batman is just, uh, I mean, he, he could be like a disgruntled employee you know, right. that's, who, who took his firing to the next level. You know, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much, uh, but Marvel, it's all about, like, if a radioactive spider bit somebody else, it, would, it, it wouldn't be the same. It'd be a, t- a fundamentally different per- yeah, thing. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now, it could have been, now, I mean, Superman, it, yeah, it's about the powers and... That's the plot device that drives it. With um, with Marvel, it's about the characters, you know. Because I mean, if Flash Thompson was bitten by the that's what what ifs are for. Sure, right? Yeah. right. Flash Thompson was bitten by a radioactive spider. You know, it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. Four different people stole a rocket, went up into space. It's not the Fantastic. When, yeah, yeah, it's not the same Fantastic and form. No. Seriously, what four fucking, pardon my French, but no, what please. four freaking people are going to steal a rocket ship and just go into space? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's made, for insecurity on this yeah, thing? Yeah, seriously. It, it must have been Get Him Steve Dave. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that how about, was, how about Mike, what if it was four people got drunk and jumped into an interdimensional portal? <laughs> What that would have been even you know. better. That would have been a, that would have been a shitty movie, is what that sounds like. It, it was a been. shitty movie. Though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> a movie so bad. I I have never. The only Fantastic Four movie I've ever seen is the Roger Corman one. I have not even watched <laughs> the other two shitty really? movies. Yeah, there were there were two shitty movies, and then there was one really shitty movie. Yes. Right. right. Yes. So there are three fant- four Fantastic Four movies. I've seen arguably. Oh. The what, least shitty. The, the least shitty, which is also the one that Didn't got no hype. Yeah. yeah, got yeah. no release. Yeah. So. We sat down one day and got drunk and watched 
the most the most recent yeah, one. Yeah, four stick. Yeah. You should have jumped into a dimensional portal instead. <laughs> I, I should have like put my hand in a blender. I, um, yeah. I think we should do a commentary on that. You go in cold because I've seen. I watched it in an yeah, airplane. Yeah, it's, it's amazing going out because I had never seen it before. Right? That moment. Yeah. And I was watching. I was like, this. It starts. It's amazing. It starts off like it's going to go somewhere, and then, it goes and then the wheels of the bus just fall off, and it is just. And it just. It starts. <laughs> It's you know dumpster fire, yeah. but on a bus. But how many? <laughs> how would people listen to me say? How the fuck did this get made? Every five minutes, you know, on the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. the fuck did this get made? Oh yeah, God, for sure. How the fuck did this get made? Yeah, yeah. And, and at this point in time, like I mean, that's that everybody thinks that about. That okay, movie. There, there's no, there's oh, nobody he, like cheering on. I'm like, oh, that was actually a really good movie. Yeah, it's like, oh, he's saying what we're all thinking and probably saying at the same time. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, yeah, well, do you think? Uh, what are you scared about? New mutants? Then, the new mutants <laughs> are you horrified? Are, are you really? You? Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, re- it's you know pushbacks are never a good thing, and then uh, uh, you know when you, you no. hear about reshoots, never a good thing. Usually, no. it doesn't work out. Well, is it New Mutants or is it dar- the Dark Phoenix? Oh, oh that one. We're just right. talking about one, New yeah. Mutants. Yeah. <laughs> but here's here's my problem: is don't stray from the source material. Not don't right. Mm-hmm. Why would you want? To? Oh, because the director, the director, he's got a vision, Mike. He's got a you know vision. What? Tell you what, here's, I have a vision of me sticking my foot up his ass if he doesn't get it right. <laughs> so that's and, my and ultimate well, and vision. And that's just it. Like the fandom has proven over and over and over again. Like we don't want it too far off the beaten path. No, you no, can make you can make some some changes. The MCU has proven that you can make some, sure. some modifications, but don't go too far off the path where it's just completely unrecognizable and you're yeah. just using names and it's not really the characters. And these guys, are, oh, I made some choices as an actor. It's like. No, shut up and read your lines. That's <laughs> the choice you should make is to cash your paycheck, and that's about it. Yeah, here's your choice: read the source material and then do that. That's yeah, your, that's yeah. your choice. Yeah, don't don't do don't go different. I mean, look at the Stephen King novels and adaptions. Anyone who strayed from the source material, event, you know, I, I mean, arguably, The Shining is not a good example of that because people love that and they love the book. But if you stray too far from the source material. You're screwed. Yeah. And even Stephen King is like, hey, here we go. And it's like, wow, well, you're writing shit that would never happen and is unfilmable. So, right. yeah, that's not going to work either. Do you guys do you guys feel like maybe that that's been a lot of the pushback with the most recent Star Wars films? Is you know, cuz cuz like we as nerds have like a we have like a sense of ownership of of these stories and, and of these things, and and so Star Wars is kind of you know when Disney bought Lucasfilm, it's kind of said everything is in the past is in the past unless it's in a movie, right. and we're going forward, and they and they made some some changes to what people had been used to in the EU as far right. especially with Luke, right? Do you feel like that 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 is kind of why there's been the pushback, especially no, I, on Ryan Johnson's film? I think it has to do with that, and. I'm gonna get like beat up on this one. Go ahead. But there's there's a certain amount of arrogance that we we are entitled to. Yes. Right. We our, were there first. We were there uh, first. Right. You know, I we, was there in '77. Yeah. Yes. Oh well, mine for me it was '78. But yeah, I know you me were. Too. Yeah. No, for I mean, me it was '78 70. as well. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, you know, it, it's arrogant to say that this is mine, rather than be like, you know what this. It belongs in a museum. It belongs to everybody. <laughs> you know, this is everybody's. And, you know, the kids around here who are learning to love Star Wars because of, you know, um, The Force Awakens, because yep. of, you know, The Last Jedi. Personally speaking, I it would have been more telling for me if Luke had shown up on that planet and been there. I would have loved to have seen because he was a powerful Jedi. And he has the entirety of the Force to draw upon, except that which is being used by um, Kylo Ren and... Um, and Yeah, exactly. So, why not have him be there and take the full brunt? You can see what the Force is capable of rather than him phoning it in. And that's exactly what he did. He phoned it in. You don't get to see him as um, an exemplary pilot which would have been great because he he ran a blockade. He got to uh, I forget what the planet was that they made their last stand on, and um, he faced down Kylo Ren, right, and and kicked his ass. And that's 
that's what it should have been. It should have been like him backhanding him and be like, you are a shitty student. And that, that should have been the lesson right there. It's like, you know what? I, I punished myself this whole time because I thought I was a really crappy teacher. But guess what? You were a horrible student and a really, really bad nephew. <laughs> you're, you're blaming the you never call. And don't even talk to me we're on sun. I, yes. <laughs> listen, I got to go back to a proverb that, that the great Mr. Miyagi said in the first Karate Kid, no such thing as a bad student, only bad teacher. And you know what? How do you what do you, how do you how do you rebut this, Mike Zapps? Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, Let's we're talking about way. the holy Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi, full of shit. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, was right. I, I think there's a lot to be said about that. Though. There is, I but by Luke, the same token, I we think, see the redemption of Johnny. Uh, we do later on in Cobra Kai, yes, right? But and, yes, and Chris was indeed a bad teacher, but very bad. I mean, we also see. Uh, Daniel being kind of a dick in Karate Kid Three, right? Oh, there were Mr. Yes, he was. Yes. Daniel, Daniel's a big. So dick. it's it's <laughs> got to be <laughs> that Mr. Miyagi was a shitty teacher at I, that moment in time. You, Daniel redeemed himself. He he became the All Valley champion again. Oh, Danny, you're on on that. You know, Daniel, you're, you're using da- um, Daniel yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> using the familiar what, term. Using Joel, what what which silver? What was his name? Terry Silver's Terry Silver. Yeah. Terry Silver's. Uh, Nickname for him, Danny. 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 Yes. What was the name of the bad boy of karate? Douchey McDouche. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> nobody, nobody cares anymore. Nobody cares anymore. Like, like, cares anymore. Yeah, bad boy who didn't understand what a form was. I was like, <laughs> yeah. dude, you're supposed to be doing this. Right. How do you not you know, know your yeah, basic I, 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 like Just punch him in the face. <laughs> what are you <laughs> waiting for? Yeah. yeah, it's amazing to me with this, how popular MMA is that they're trying to bring back Karate Kid. Like uh, it's <laughs> really? unbelievable. Like, yeah. Nobody does that anymore. But, uh, like I'm everybody knows a real how to really fight. Right. Right. And I'm looking at that other kid who's like, you know, yeah, the bad boy of karate is like, is he having an epileptic seizure? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? And it's like, can I get a timeout here? I just want to know what he's doing. And um, Terry Silver's company was like the toxic waste management company or whatever. Yes. And everybody starts throwing their T-shirts down at him. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Never would happen in real life. People no, like, they'd be like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not throwing this away. I can use it I'm, to chamois my car. Something, yeah. yeah. You don't throw a good T-shirt away. No, you Ever. don't. Ever. I worked in 20 years of radio. You never throw away never a good throw T-shirt. Never throw away, because you might need it. And, yeah. And, you know, eBay. eBay that. Yeah, at eBay least something. that fucker. Something. You're going to get something out of it. <laughs> Uh, Mike Barnes was a bad boy. Oh, Friday. Mike Barnes. Oh, okay. Barnes. Okay. Cause, Mike cause Barnes. That, Thank I you. I was going to bother you. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Mike Barnes, really, that name That's, strikes terror in people's yeah. hearts. Oh, God, Mike no, Barnes. Barnes. I just pooped myself. <laughs> Knock your shit up or I'm going to bring Mike Barnes in here. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I mean, my, uh, you know, real quick, my theory is, uh, you know, I think um, the people, most of the backlash from uh, The Last Jedi. Yeah. People took the Star Wars universe way too seriously. Yeah, yeah exactly. Way too and seriously. It's not Star Trek people. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Just, I, 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 here's the thing that breaks my heart is that, uh, I'm sorry, what's her name? Tran? Uh, uh, Melly, Cre- Melly. Kelly Marie. Kelly, Kelly Marie. Marie. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's that, stupid. That was so, and so Don't, thoughtless. You're going to yeah. attack the actors who are paid to recite right, lines and right. act like, get out of here. And she did a good job. I thought she, she did, did a great, great job. She did great. Yeah. She did great. Yeah. But this is this is what it comes from. It's that... Arrogant entitlement. Right. Yeah, it's well, you. You're Plus, ruining like, my Star Wars mo- universe. And, and we Get talk, out of here. You talked about the entitlement of, of fans, and, and, and I don't think there's any fandom more entitled than Star Wars. I mean, this is the yeah. fandom <laughs> that got rid of Hayden Christensen. <laughs> right. Jake hey, Lloyd go crazy. Second. Wait a minute. That, that one I agree with. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if I may be so bold as to, if I may be so hypocritical as to you say. Be, you, may be, you may be so bold. I, yes, and, and you I'm, may be bold. I, 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 it is hypocritical to say, but he was terrible. And he should have been hounded off Twitter. But to be fair, to be fair, so is Mark Hamill. You watch A New Hope, and Mark Hamill is dreadful. Really, I didn't. I didn't see it that way. Yeah, I didn't see it that way because, and, and I was talking to somebody about this earlier today. That, I mean, there was such a dearth of really good science fiction in the seventies. You remember? Well, it barely. was a barren wasteland. <laughs> yeah, we had nothing. Yeah, I mean, Z- uh, Zardos. Yeah, with uh, I got I got to see Sean Connery's junk. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to see that. They forced it on me. And uh, yeah, I just saw a movie poster. I don't know if you ever saw this movie. I think it's an Italian movie from the '60s called "The Three Supermen." 
Are you aware no. Of this? no. We need to see this movie. I saw a movie poster for it. This sounds amazing. In a vintage shop. Oh, uh, we're looks, there. Looks pretty amazing. Uh, everybody looks at one Head up. down to the floor after this and see if I can find a yeah, copy. The three, yeah, there right, we go. Superman. Is there a bootleg dude down there? Because I want him. Oh, oh my, I want amazing. that guy. i to find one. <laughs> That'd be yeah, great. For sure. But I think uh, I Kevin actually brought this up. He's like, uh, episode nine, you know, JJ's back. But he's like, you know what would have been even better? Bring George back. Let him redeem himself. What is the Star Wars universe about if nothing but redemption? <laughs> <laughs> how great would that be if George came back? He's like, I got this. Yeah, uh, but how bad would it be if he's like, I got this, and then he fucked it all up yeah. even worse? Yeah. I, hey, you know that that's another. Well, story. I mean, it doesn't really. I mean, that's that's a potential for anybody that, you bring yeah, in at exactly. this point. True, but I mean, he's his track record is the less he he has to do with hands on, yeah. the better off the Star Wars franchise is. Yeah. Seems to be. And, yeah, you know, I'm, and you're talking to a guy who could. You know, win a George Lucas lookalike contest. Yeah. So, and I'm saying that. So, you know, George, I stay away. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm Let not a fan back, of bringing man. him back. Let him I'm come not back. A, well, Let him redeem did you himself. Hear, did you hear his recent the the recent news about what he said about what his original vision for seven, eight, nine? I were? did not. What was it? So he said midichlorians were going to be a bigger part of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, because you know everybody loved it in the first three. <laughs> no, no, it's no, basically going to be inner space in Star Wars. You know, what? I take that back. Oh dear yeah, God! Yeah. I take that yeah. back. Oh, they they got Martin Short to to do the little capsule again. Dennis Quaid's not too yes. old. That's no. good. Yeah, they got it. They're you bringing know, the whole gang back and just right. throwing Star Wars in the front. Okay. He was just screwing around, though. He's like, I know what you <laughs> right. what you hate. I'm going to pile and on. And, that's, Star Wars and that's, how he, that's how he prefaces. He said, I know the fans would have hated this, yeah. Yeah. but what I thought would have been cool is if we did more with the midichlorians right. and, that, and, and the wills. Yeah, the wills were sort the of the, uh, these creatures that oh, operated yeah. on the microbiotic. Yeah, oh, abs- absolutely. They were the, the guys in um, Rogue One. Right. Yeah, they had the Guardian of the Wills. The Guardians was, of the yeah, Wills, yeah. Was, um, Chirrut and... Uh, Bays. Bays, yeah. Yeah, there were... And Which I both. like those guys. Yeah. So did I. Two of my favorite characters yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, one of them was like... Um, oh, my God. It was like... Uh, um, mother in uh, Platoon. Come get some! <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> and then you had the, the Kung Fu guy. Yes. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one with the force, and the force is with, with me. me. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> so much fun. So oh, much well, fun. Yeah. I just read that. I just reread that comic book ser- series. Uh, the Rogue One nice adaptation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a couple nice little additions. Okay, good. In cool. that, that, that kind of make read that it, good. Yeah, but yeah. Unlike the Force Awakens ones, is like ver- is, is, is verbatim. Yeah. yeah, but the Rogue One, they they. Uh, Who's the director Spill. for that? Uh, that was Gareth Edwards. Gareth right. Edwards put a little blurb in there of like, there's some extra scenes in here that we wanted to put in the movie, got edited out for extra you know, oh, nice. for reasons. Right, that's cool. Yeah, so that one's a, that one's a fun one to read. Cool. Just Spill. Hmm? Spill. Yeah. You Let me know. Tell us now. <laughs> I didn't read it, so you're gonna um, save me some reading. <laughs> you do get you do get the scene where you know because there was like that controversy about. Uh, like there was a lot of stuff in the trailers that we didn't see sure, in yeah. the sure. movie, where she's like, "Rebellions are built on hope." Yes. Like you get to see that scene play out. You get to see a little bit more with uh, and get a little bit more inside Cassian's head, okay. uh, as far as like why, like when he's killing people yeah, and yeah, how yeah. much he's done and stuff like that. So you get a little bit more character development, which I thought was missing in Rogue One. Like after reading the comic book, I kind of cared about the characters. Okay. Whereas at the end of Rogue One, I was like. Well, they are all dead. Yeah. So. Well, I, I did care. Uh, well, throughout the course of the the movie, I started to care about them. Uh-huh. Even Mads Mikkelsen, I was like, "Yeah, I like you. Yeah, you're all right. right. Yeah, you know, nobody was unlikable, but there was nobody where I was like, I really want to know more about that character. Jin Erso was. Uh, I mean, yeah. she was the heroine that we needed at that particular time. Yeah. You do get more of her in the comic book too. You get a little bit more backstory with her and Saw Gerrera. Which I thought was really good, and kind of saw his relationship with the rebellion and why things are a little like Rocky. on the outs yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Do you think that there were like later on, like there were T-shirts with Saw Gerrera's face on it, and uh, rebel? You know, that, yeah, there should have been. Hey, exactly. There should have been. Oh, like somebody Jake making Guevara? Yeah, there were yeah. there were people making <laughs> people making shitloads of money off of right. Saw Gerrera. <laughs> Saw Gerrera. <laughs> yeah, right. T-shirts. Yeah. That's right. That's what we're doing. Save the rebellion. That's you are there on the hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just easy <laughs> his way through that scene. It's like, holy shit, did David Lynch do this part? Yeah. <laughs> Why does 
everybody have asthma in Star Wars? That's it's, what it's I want to know. Even asthma. I think he's just huffing on like, <laughs> oh, that is just great. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, it's not all atmospheres were created equal, gentlemen. <laughs> right, I'm just fair saying. Enough. I'm just saying. Too bad Dennis Hopper's dead now. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm suing those bastards because that's me in blue velvet. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, anything Other else? Other comic books that, that we want to talk to these guys about? You had Because you had a list of questions that you had texted me, and I don't remember what they <laughs> <Yeah>. were. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, glad you had them written down, though. <laughs> right. Let me pull out mine. Yeah, I was what, the one doing yeah, prep what, last night. Yeah, what else? Going <laughs> I don't, again, I'm the one who's I don't do prep. I don't do prep. <laughs> I Smart man. That That's why I have him. He does prep for me. Uh, let's see. Prep is fun. Right. Something about... Something about Mary? Sure. Something about Mary. What is, 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 now, is that time for a sequel for that? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Since we're doing sequels, back? Brett Favre again? It's like, oh my god! <laughs> no, I bring back Tom, always come Tom back Brady to this time, man. Tom Brady, yeah, Tom Brady would be fantastic. Yeah, Walt would go see that. That's about yeah, the only everyone, person. You know, <laughs> Stiller is still around. Cameron Diaz is still around. Um, you know, all those guys are still around. Yeah, bring it back, man. I'm, I'm all for it. Pork and beans. Pork and beans. <laughs> hey, he was pork masturbating. He was masturbating. <laughs> you know who that was, right? You guys, do you guys no. watch? Did you ever watch uh, Deadwood? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Never saw Deadwood? No, no I don't no, you got, much. I'm giving you homework. You hey. got to go see Deadwood. Um, he was one of the main characters in Deadwood. In Deadwood. He's great. Yeah. yeah. I've heard good things about that show. Like, there's so... That, again, oh, Mike, going back, yeah, to, going back to, like, we're in, like, the high point of, of nerddom. Yeah. And there, there's a glut. Like, you can't keep up with it. That's one of the reasons why we went back to Star Wars, because, like, we were watching all the DC shows. Oh, yeah. We're watching Westworld. We're watching, uh, you know... Agents of Shield. I am two seasons behind in Agents of Shield. A season behind in Flash. You got it. A uh, season behind in Flash. Uh, two seasons behind in Arrow. Um, Legends of Tomorrow. I never watched because that's the best one. I heard. Yeah, and, it's, yeah. it's totally mindless. But it's the one that you have. You don't have to do a whole lot of like. You don't know, need to know too much about the rest of the universe. But it's just perfect. But it's horrible because I do know too much about the rest of the universe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm like, well, that ain't right. <laughs> well, there is that. I mean, you just kind of you just kind of like go with because it it's so campy and fun. Yeah. You just kind of go with well, it. Well, like like we were talking about the you know the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We we've got this. Um, We've got change, not yeah. just for change's sake, but because it, it makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah. Like we, we have Tony Stark, who uh, in the comics he was adopted, which is like, wow, why don't you just like piss all over my childhood? <laughs> um, but in the the Marvel U, he's still, you know, Howard Stark's kid. Yeah, and they they look exactly alike. So for him to, unless. You know, Howard Stark used his Convenient. quadrillions of, <laughs> of dollars to have. And I want you to mold his face so that when he grows just up, like he looks me. Like, just yeah. like me. It's amazing what money can get you. And you have that much money, you can take the pick of all the adopted kids available yeah. in America. And be like, I, want I want that little that one, one with the mustache. Yeah. Yeah. That's bring him over here. <laughs> Sit him on my lap. I know pie. I could do pie to the 450th. All right, he's all right, mine. He's in. He's in. He's in the club. He'll do. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, the MCU, where do you see it going with the... How do you think this is going to wrap up with with the next oh, Avengers? Avengers movie? Uh, I think we're going to put... We're going to set things to right with Thanos. And um, what, I'm, what I'm hoping for is um, the Marvel Universe having the new Avengers. The Sokovia Accords are already in place, so they're going to have to go underground even more. And we're going to lose some people. We're going to lose Cap. We might lose Thor. Um, although I don't think we'll lose Thor. I, I feel like he's redeemed a little bit from Ragnarok. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to lose uh, Cap. And I think we're going to lose Tony. The the two main protagonists, the, the two guys who are on opposite sides of the fence uh, in Civil War are going to be the guys who, like, do the sacrifice plays. Yeah. Because... Um, Tony almost did in um, Avengers 1. Yep. In the first Avengers. Yeah. Um, I don't know how close he came. I think it was more Thor who almost died in uh, Ultron, Age of Ultron. Was it did, Thor? Was anybody actually in Jeopardy in that? I feel anybody was in real no, Jeopardy. Well, in maybe the Thor. Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Little bit. Well, well, of course, you lost Quicksilver in that and movie. We, we but, did yeah. lose Quicksilver. Which, frankly, fine. 
Yeah, I, I didn't care either. So. <laughs> I mean, it's like, uh, whatever. Yeah. We, we got the real Quicksilver over in Days of Future Past. Yeah. Right. We're good. That, that was, was good. One. Thank yeah. you, yeah. With the, yeah. I, I like him better. <laughs> Way How better. horrible is that? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, we haven't seen Wanda in the X, X-Men yet, but we will. We will yeah. eventually, we will. I think. Uh, do you think, like, do you think we're going into the quantum realm? With, oh, uh, we have to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you, see, movie? you see it in the trailer, yeah. Right. They're de- yeah, they're definitely I gonna think it's going to be... I think the um, the real hero of Avengers 4 is going to be um, Captain Marvel, of course. Of course. Mm-hmm. And um, maybe Ant-Man and or the Wasp. I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's girl power. The Wasp and Captain Marvel right. oh, team, team up. up. Yeah. It would be pretty amazing. Oh, oh, oh. That would be fun. That would yeah. be really cool. Who would that you would... like to still see in the MCU at this point? I think we've seen just about everybody, right? Shang, right. Chang Chi, the master Shang of Kung Chi, Fu. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. would love to see him as a Netflix. Yes. Yeah. I would like to see him do what Iron Fist should have done, which yeah. is like a really cool uh, Kung Fu mo- uh, Kung yeah. Fu uh, TV Centric, show. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I got two more. Um, West Coast Avengers. That's okay. my theory of where Hawkeye is. Yeah. He's going off to LA and start the West Coast Avengers. Wonder Man, dude. Right. And I want need, Wonder. I want Wonder, Wonder Man. Man. I know Wonder he wants to see fun. Wonder Man. I want Wonder yeah. Man. And they they said they. In the deleted scenes of Guardians 2, you get to see Simon Williams like oh, in the really? background. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was on posters. Oh, for oh, oh the posters. Yeah. Okay, Didn't, yeah. Uh, Who would they have play him? Didn't Nathan they have Fillion. Fo- Nathan Fillion play him, right? Yeah. Which I think Nathan Fillion could still play Wonder Man. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he'd who be in a good safari him? jacket. Yeah, he yeah, could. It, he could it would work. It, it would work. And um, uh, maybe the uh, Squadron Supreme. Okay. Like to see them. Even if it's just like, hey, even if it's just like a cartoon yeah. that they do, like you see him in the background, it's like the Justice League Unlimited kind of thing. Yeah. That, I think, would be just like the ultimate screw you to DC. And you, know, <laughs> you, guys, you guys can't do any movies right. So so we got this. We got, th- we got you covered. <laughs> yeah, no, so. give me some Alpha Flight, man. Puck. Thank you. Puck, Thank you. you. Really You're the first he person does, who's ever said that. Every, I say every time I want Puck. Puck, Sasquatch. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm, North Star, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'd love to see Captain... Um, Ca- Major Maple Leaf. I'm sorry, not yeah. Captain. Major Maple yeah, Leaf. The <laughs> big <laughs> red. Yeah. yeah. I love him about, as a character. What about uh, Moon Knight? Yeah, oh, for Moon sure. Knight, yeah. For sure. Long we actually have it. We, we're trying to pitch. Um, yeah, Michael Trainor from uh, Walking Dead. Michael he played Trainor? Nicholas. He was the guy oh, that, okay. that, that that shot himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Caused uh, Glenn, yeah, Glenn to, to be go feared the death. Yeah, I, yeah. I think uh, Moon Knight would make an excellent like Netflix Marvel TV series. Yeah, I agree. I Too much to cram agree. into a two hour movie, but a TV series. But for a TV sure. series would be amazing. Yeah, because yeah, that's got a really weird kind of oh, crazy yeah. mythology. Yeah. yeah. Just crazy. Have you guys seen. Um, have, well, you haven't. I know you haven't, Mike. <laughs> the, uh, the the first couple episodes of uh, Cloak and Dagger yet? Yeah. I no, I not yet. But I almost did last good. night. Ridiculously good. Good. Shockingly okay. good. And I'm That's not cool. a big Cloak and Dagger fan. <laughs> uh, I'm not either, but I, I would watch that. It wasn't bad. So, yeah. It wasn't bad. And Runaways has been good. Like, again, we just have, like, this amazing glut of... Of stuff to watch. What a, what a problem to have. It really is it amazing. Really is Not enough problem. time in the day. Yeah, no. I can't watch it. I can't keep up. It's no. amazing. There's too much. Yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> that's never a problem. That's not everybody. a problem you really want to no, uh, address not. to anybody. Yeah, for sure. Is there uh, any place in the Star Wars universe you guys would like to go to? Because like we have Ryan Johnson's new trilogy sure. coming out. You have uh, the new TV show. Yeah, I mean they announced a Boba Fett. I would love to see that. There's, a, you would. there's I think that that I think that is. That is necessary. I do want to he see. He needs to Boba be redeemed, Fett. right? I want to see his backstory. I've got one place. I want to see why they built the Death Star. I mean, legitimately, the the Emperor came up with the Death Star. He he needed it. it wasn't for the rebellion. There's no, a threat the em- out there. It's no, for the right. Empire. No, but it was it was for the Empire. Um, there was a threat coming that sure. Palpatine foresaw. Ah, uh, okay. Right. In the unknown regions, I yes. think there's a lot. And he sends out some expedition. And didn't yeah. come back. And, yeah, some probes and stuff. So there was there was a reason for the Death Star. Not just to Not keep, just to keep everybody in line. No, it wasn't just to keep it. Because that's what he had Vader for. That's what he had Grand Moff Tarkin for. Right, right. They kept everybody in line. And even if... I mean, he handled Princess Leia. I mean... Yeah, Vader had that idea to let him go so they could, you know, track him back to, it was Yavin, right? Yavin yeah. 4. Yeah. Um, and it didn't work out. But if 
just a couple more minutes. Five more minutes. He would have had that. He would have had he it. Yeah. Locked it, down. it was. For it sure. was great. It was a brilliant plan. Yeah. But there's. I mean, it was. It was not because of the rebellion that, that right, they built right. the, the Death Star. They built the Death Star because there's something else out there. I want to find out what that thing is. That's good. Okay. That is good. That would be fun. That would be fun. Well, guys, I appreciate it, you, both of you taking the time and, not be, and being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got this it, man. This is awesome. Uh, tell us, before you go, tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on with podcasting and, and the new studios and stuff. Yeah, we just opened up a shared universe podcast studio earlier this year. And, um, you know, we're up and running. We are actually expanding. Uh, we've got a, a second studio going so we can do both at the same time. So yeah, uh, inspired by our time going to cons, we would uh, we would meet fellow podcasters who come to the cons. They want like a five ten minute interview with us, and uh, but uh, a lot of people would be like, "Hey, how do you, I listen to your podcast? How do you start? I want to start. I don't know anything about gear. I don't know how to upload. I don't know anything. I don't want to mess with the mixing board." And you know, we've given a tutorial, but it's like, man, what if we had our own place where we could you know hold classes and yeah. teach people to podcast and just encourage the uh, the great great medium of podcasting and uh and we did that started starting in the beginning of this year and uh yeah um we found that uh yeah everybody wants to podcast so come on and down there, there aren't a lot of podcast studios out there there's not i, I mean no. there's <laughs> it's hard I, if I you go like one or two really yeah and one of them's friends of ours that we lifted the idea yeah, from. Right, yeah. <laughs> so big shout out to podcast detroit we love david and bob yeah, they're two sure. of the nicest guys you'll ever meet if you're ever out in detroit yeah, and you want to podcast, podcast with them Go podcast to Podcast Detroit. They have six studios up and running right wow. now. Wow. So, yeah. It's impressive. Yeah, good stuff. So, so yeah, luck. we're going to try to steal as many ideas from oh, them as we sure. possibly can. <laughs> yeah, and wrong great luck with you guys, too. Thank yes. you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Certain appreciate point of view, everybody. Thank you. Certain point of view. Well, don't forget, you can check out the podcast and all of our social media on our website. You can get in touch with us there. Just go to certainpov.com. We're on a variety of social media. So whatever works for you, you should be able to get in touch with us. Again, our website, certainpov.com. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. Uh, again, certainpov.com. And until next time, stay scruffy, my nerf herders. Nerf herders.